So, this got sent to me. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's an old power. It's a really, really cool looking laptop. It's uh, obviously a gaming tablet slash laptop thing. Um, got an RTX graphic card in it. I think, I'm pretty sure it's an old power. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to find out. Um, so let me just, uh, I don't think there's any, oh yeah, it does detach. All right, yeah, so it's pretty much like the ones I've been working on recently. I think this is an old power. I'm going to plug it in to see what's happening. Uh, it is USB-C, so I can use the ammeter on it. And hopefully not scratch a bloody screen. Jesus Christ. Yep, that's for charging. It's got a charging symbol on it. Uh, 20 volts, 0 0.05 amps, 0 0.3 amps, no lights on it, is it going to jump up because 0 0.3 amps, unless the battery's full, isn't going to be enough to charge it, leave it on, leave it on for a minute, yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing, yeah, just in case it's trickle charging it, I mean, it's taking a charge and it's negotiating 20 volts, I'm assuming that's normal, um, it seems about right. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this for a minute. It is actually jumping up to 0 0.32 amps now. Nothing seems to be happening though. I would assume it would have turned on by now. And that's telling me there's probably some sort of a short on here. If it's drawing 0 0.3 amps, we might be able to pick that up with a thermal camera if that's the case. Uh, I've just got to figure out how to disassemble the damn thing. I'm going to leave it charging while I'm trying to disassemble it, but I'll tell you what, let's press and hold the power button for a minute, see if anything happens. Is it liquid damage? I'm not sure, mate. No, nothing happening when I press and hold the power button. So that, so that continuous current draw there that kind of tells me there's probably a short on the board. So, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to fix this tonight. It depends on whether, on whether or not I can get whatever part it needs. Probably not, but I at least need to look at it to figure out what's going on. So, there's two screws there. Screw there. Okay, that's for the SSD. It's a 2230 SSD. But that would have needed to come out anyway to be able to disassemble this. A couple of lung screws there. Damage just here. Cheers, Wheaty. Do you know any good online shops to buy parts for consoles? Uh, ooh, I think uh, there's a site called consolefix.shop that sells some parts for consoles. Today's video is brought to you by my own online store. Whether you need HDMI ports or charging chips, you'll probably find it at Console Fix. We sell disk drives and power supplies. Just trust me, bro. I tell no lies. If you need stuff, just check the store, because I'll probably find one on my workshop floor. I've got parts to get you going, and I already know. This ad, it's mind-blowing. So get your wallet out. Don't be a dick. Just spend your money. A console fix. All right, I'll stop rhyming now. Console fix! Let's disconnect this battery if I can, before... I disconnect the screen and what the hell is going on with this? What's happened here? There's jumper wires everywhere here. Uh, okay. Now I'm a little bit concerned. That is not very good soldering. Uh, hmm. What the hell has happened? I mean, obviously someone's ripped. Well, that's going to cause an issue for a start. That's just flapping in the breeze there. Uh, obviously, someone's ripped the, um, the pads off this. So, very obviously, the uh, the battery connector's been ripped off. Like, why would you... Why would you just leave them running like that? And these are obviously going to be sense lines. A little bit of liquid tape over it, why not? So now I can't get to the damn thing. And if you'd have put conformal coat in there, it might have been a little bit easier to work with, but no. This don't look great, does it? Uh, let's see if anything happens. Well, let's see if there's anything different 
without the battery plugged in because if they've got them jumper wires mixed up or if it's detecting a battery but not communicating with the battery then that could be causing the issue. Um, let's have a look. So 20 volts, 0.29 amps. I don't know if there's any lights meant to light up on this but I'm not seeing any. Okay, liquid metal. Uh, that's probably normal. It's probably me yeah, it's meant to have liquid metal. We've got some foam on it, so uh, yeah. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is probably just have a look on the thermal camera because it would appear as though something's drawing current that shouldn't be because this is technically turned off. So it shouldn't be drawing any current. There's no battery connected. So let me just load up the thermal camera. Uh oh. Hmm. Something's not happy around that CPU, is it? 50 degrees Celsius. That's not good. Oh, that, yeah, that's a CPU. Uh, <laughs> that's actually the CPU, what's getting hot. It might be RIP CPU, yeah. And it could be a MOSFET. Like it's, just because the CPU is getting hot, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the mo it's the CPU that's bad. But that's a very specific spot where that's getting hot, isn't it? Right, has that MOSFET there been removed, or let's just have a little scan around. I've unplugged this, by the way, just to just to make sure I'm not going to short anything out. Uh... Let's just have a little hunt around. Um, I don't think that's been removed. I think it's intentionally not there. So intentionally a no stuff FET. 0.33. So I'm just hunting around here just to see if I can find anything. I won't bother reading everything out. I'll just... Let you all know. Uh, this one here. So on this one, I'm getting... Oh, hang on. No. Maybe not.
Yeah, so the, the the MOSFET's getting a little bit warm, but not as warm as the CPU. But I mean, current's gonna take the path with the leaf resistance to ground, and obviously the CPU is probably gonna be lower resistance than the MOSFET itself. But that very prominent spot there is very um, very worrying. Honestly, I think this is probably CPU, but. Ugh. I'm not sure on the jumpers because I mean it could be the jump. I mean, bear in mind, if those jumpers have shorted something out, that there is a chance that that would go to the CPU, given that they're going to be jumpers for data lines. Um, but I don't think that would be giving me false readings. Yeah, this definitely ain't no Ali tablet. I mean, this is like a couple of grand tablet. It's not cheap. I9 plus an RTX inside a freaking tablet. How long before we see that kind of spec in phones? Probably about another two years, mate. If that, you and Tronic Fix should make a video. You know what? I would love to go to America and actually make a proper video with him, but I'd never get in. I'm not seeing any schematics. Uh, let's see if there's a part number on the board. Probably not. It isn't a Zeus product after all. It's one of two things. It's either that MOSFET or the CPU. If it's the CPU, it's game over because it's not going to be worth fixing. Uh, well, it would be if you could find a working CPU. You ain't going to find no replacement motherboards for this this um, laptop. That's for certain. Replace the MOSFET and if it's still dead, then it's CPU. Yeah, probably. Come to think of it. You know what? Someone has replaced it already, haven't they? It's pointless. Someone's already replaced it. Someone's already worked on this. Yeah, it looks like, that, looking at that, it look, that looks like um, this has been replaced already, and that doesn't look like factory solder either. That's been replaced. I think this is probably a CPU, and I don't think it's worth me, it's worth me continuing. Could just be a failed MOSFET replacement. Um, I don't know. I don't know, it looks like whoever's done this knows what they're doing. Uh, I mean, yes, those jumper wires are a little bit rough, but whoever's done this knows what they're doing. Even without the macro lens, you can very visibly see that it's directly on the die. I don't think it's worth me uh, worth me continuing with it. It's already had rework as well. That's another issue. It's already had some rework. I think what's happened here is someone's done some other work on it and probably killed the CPU. Probably with that 